Welcome back everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. This time around I'm playing Capture the Flag on the map Complex, and uh, during the course of the events of this game, I ended up getting a Rampage medal, which is 20 kills in a row without a single death. Uh, that's certainly a fantastic streak that I was really excited to achieve. Uh, the best streak I've got so far in the game, and um, so you're going to see it right here, right now. Um, Right off uh, the bat, to start things off, I rush for the energy sword, um, and that's really a good tip for absolutely any uh, map, any game type. You want to get in there and you want your team to control the power weapons, because that's going to really affect the balance of power in the game. And so you want to make uh, an emphasis of that. You see, uh, the I don't beat the blue player to the energy sword, but I do get the melee attack and finish them off. I'm able to confiscate the weapon. And a lot of times, uh, several players are going to be rushing for those power weapons early off. And it's not necessarily the first person to touch that weapon or pick it up. Sometimes you're better off um, you know, making sure to take everybody down before you actually grab that weapon. Okay, so that's a little bit of a tip. I see a lot of players just rush in there and grab those weapons. You're better off maybe trying to take everybody down. Uh, and then once the coast is clear, you can grab the weapon and, and get off to a, a safe location. Now, this game uh, went really fast. I mean, Complex is a pretty big map. However, uh, you know, you can really move very, very quickly in this game. I've noticed I really do like the physics of this game. I like being able to jump higher, to run faster. It feels a lot more like the previous Halo games in that regard. With Halo Reach, it felt like they were really trying to weigh you down. It felt like you couldn't jump up onto anything. You moved very slowly unless you had the sprint ability. Uh, but here, you can move very, very quickly. Everybody has sprint in addition to any other armor abilities that they have. And so you can really move across this map very, very quickly. And as a consequence, although the map is fairly large, uh, the score turns to two uh, captures for each team very, very quickly. Within only a few minutes of the game starting, the score was two to two. And so what ends up happening is because I have the energy sword... Um, I end up kind of getting assigned to defense by default, right? Because, look, we've already given up two captures as it is, and uh, we're only like a couple minutes into the game, not even. Um, and so I end up uh, being assigned to the other side of the map, playing a lot of defense, trying to keep the blue team off our flag. Now, you know, that's kind of how I end up getting the Rampage medal, but I don't get a lot of time actually uh, playing the objective as much. And so what I'm going to do is the very next video I put up, I'm going to do another Capture the Flag video uh, where I'm heavily involved in uh, capturing the flag. I capture it several times and do a lot of uh, flag stops as well and other things like that. So watch this video in conjunction with the other video and you get a really, really good idea about kind of how Capture the Flag works and so forth. But I'm going to leave some of the tactical capture the flag tips for that video. Uh, and, and this one I, I want to kind of rant and rave a little bit on a more general scale of, you know, what my impressions are of, of uh, Halo 4 in general so far. I've had the game now for about 24 hours, played maybe 20 games or so, and uh, starting to really develop a sense for the game, uh, but just starting. But I wanted to share some of the, my, my initial impressions with you if you haven't picked up the game or if you have played it and you're just kind of wondering what other people think, you know, this, that's kind of what I want to talk about. So, uh, first of all, you know, I am very impressed. I do like the game quite a bit. It, it's very fun. I, I would say in general, I, I like it about equally to Halo 3 and Halo 4. Now, the games have improved in some ways. Uh, over time, but I think the gameplay as a core has evolved, it's changed, but I don't know that it's much better or worse in terms of the gameplay for me, and that's just my opinion. Um, I, I like I like the gameplay about as much as I have the prior two games, and, and that's really saying something because I really love the prior two games, and the gameplay for me is the most important thing. Now, one of the mo the biggest areas of improvement in this game is is that it's absolutely beautiful. The graphics are continue to, to evolve, and it really is incredible when you go back and play something like Halo 3, and then you play this, and it feels like it's, you know, you can't believe you're playing them both on the same device on the Xbox 360. You know, it feels like, you know, how, how they're able to just squeeze more and more graphics out of this, uh, this device is really incredible. And the other thing that I like that they've kept 
is that it's a very clean game in terms of like blood and gore and stuff like that. Um, you know, when you play some other first person shooters, it's very bloody and frankly that just makes me nauseous. I really don't like bloody games and uh, this doesn't go over the top. It's, it's a very clean game in that regard. And I really actually appreciate that a lot because if they had made it this bloody mess like a lot of other first person shooters, I probably wouldn't have played it uh, because that just really makes me sick. I really don't like watch, looking at stuff like that. So look at this nice little headshot there for the killing frenzy. Very good play. Um, so the other thing that I really like is that they've just added sprint as just uh, a natural ability that just everybody can sprint all the time. And I think that that's so a great decision. So you can have sprint and jetpack, or sprint and active camo, and so on and so forth, kind of mix and match different things. And I really think that that makes a huge difference. And I've noticed that in the gameplay, even though you can play on a pretty large map like this one, complex is pretty large. In in other games, it would have been an eight on eight game, no no question about it. But here it's four on four and you could just move across the map really, really fast. I mean, you can sprint from one end of the map to the other in just a few seconds. It's very, very fast and uh, it, it lends to fast paced gameplay, but I think they've done really well constructing the maps in a way that they flow very well. There's a lot of really interesting components and so forth. And uh, I think it all meshes very, very well. Uh, let me rant a little bit on a couple things that I'm not crazy about. Uh, one of those things is the in-game medals uh, are very small and they're very difficult to see and um, that kind of bothers me because a lot of times I'll go on sprees or get double and triple kills and I'm not even sure that I got them because it can be very difficult to see those medals and I know that doesn't sound like a big deal but you really get a feel for how your game is progressing over time kind of by keeping an eye on your medals and how those are coming along and what medals you're getting. And a lot of times, you're not really sure if you got a kill or not, or if you got an assist, and sometimes it's very difficult to read. Anyway, I don't want to focus on it too much, but I, I'm not crazy about it. I wish the medals were about twice as big as they actually are. The other thing that I'm not crazy about is the announcer in the game, who's always calling out all these different things. Um, it felt, it feels like he's just trying a little too hard this time around. Um, uh, you know, in, you, it, it is really fun when he calls out, you know, like, kill joy and double kill and stuff like that. But it feels like in this particular game, I don't know, it just it's a little over the top. And it feels like he's calling out a lot more plays than he used to. And uh, ultimately, his voice, I've only played the game for like 24 hours. And already the, the voice, the in-game narration is kind of starting to wear on me, to be honest. I think it's a little much. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about that. You know, are the metals, have you even noticed that the metals being smaller and does that matter to you? And, you know, do you like the new, I think it's the same announcer, but just new inflections. And I'm, I'm, I really don't like them, but let me know what you think. It's not a make or break thing, not a deal breaker. Um, but let me go back to some of the things that I'm raving about. The new weapons are great. Oh my gosh. I mean, the new weapons are fantastic. They're so, they've been very creative with the new weapons and they're very balanced in my opinion uh, the weapons work very well it looks like somebody's put a lot of time and effort into really crafting weapons that not only look beautiful but that work very well that are balanced and effective and and very creative all the new uh, all the new weapons um, all the new ordnance weapons and everything just absolutely fantastic I really like them quite a bit and the ordnance drops while I'm at it that adds a really interesting dynamic. I'm not sure that I prefer, prefer ordnance drops. Uh, it'd be nice if you could dictate what you want to show up in your ordnance drops instead of kind of getting a bunch of random stuff. Um, but it's a pretty interesting concept. Kind of a jury is still out on those ordnance drops. But overall, the, the weapons are fantastic. And kind of along with those weapons, the customizable loadouts, I think is a really interesting idea. I think that it creates some problems. Um, which, you know, I'll talk about that some other time. But in general, uh, I really do like the I really do like the, the customizable loadouts. I think it's a really an interesting system and I think it works really, really well. Um, so let's see here. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Um, the other thing that I do really like a lot is that the, the armor abilities seem to have been toned down a little bit, which I think is a good thing. Uh, it felt like sometimes jetpacks were really overpowered 
and uh, some of the other armor abilities as well were just were kind of a little over the top, and so they've kind of toned things down. You can't jetpack as high or as long or as far. Um, even the active camo is a little less effective. I mean, if you're in active camo and you move, it, it, it almost fully comes out of active camo. So uh, some of the other abilities, you know, have been toned down a little bit, and I think that's good, but it's balanced because you still have a sprint, right? So you always have a sprint there. Then you have your other armor ability that's a little toned down, and I think it balances out. Uh, ends up being really good. Um, let's see. You know, the other thing that I got a rant about that I'm not really crazy about is uh, there's no theater mode for Spartan Ops or the campaign. I think that's like crazy. I don't understand why they would do that. Why you can't have the theater there? Uh, I'm gonna get my rampage right here, I believe. Yep, there it is. 20 kills in a row, rampage. So I'm gonna skip to the end uh, where I get a really clutch last second capture you see the score is tied three to three and i'm going to come in here and get a last second capture to seal the deal and win the game so uh again make sure you tune in for my other capture the flag video uh it's going to be i'm going to focus a lot more on the tactics of capturing the flag and so forth but i just wanted to rant and rave a little bit during my rampage so that you could see that really nice streak there and then uh you know give me some of your feedback one of the some of the things that you're ranting and raving about the game what do you love what do you not love uh leave some comments down below I want to thank you all for watching today. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Add this video to your favorites. Uh, check out my channel. I have a lot of other fantastic tips and tricks videos. Additionally, I'm going to continue to post new uh, tips and tricks videos uh, to come. I've got a lot more down the pipe. So make sure that you've subscribed. Thanks for watching. Halo 4 Tutor signing out. I'll see you next time.